Welcome back to another episode of Noob to Pro. This is the series where I destroy my old account, and instead I put together a new luckier account. In the previous episode, we actually did manage to craft a new windstorm device after only 10 hours of grinding for it. That's terrible. But we did actually get a galaxy with it after ending on 575,000 rolls. Today we're going to be creating the Sub-Zero device and seeing if we can get a better aura. Hopefully something which is over 1 in 10 million. At the end of this series, I will be giving this account away to one lucky subscriber. So if you'd like to be a potential winner, subscribe now. Oh my god, no way. Wait, what's this? I swear the Sub-Zero is broken right now. It gives you extra luck. Welcome back, everybody. So after the last episode, we do now have the Windstorm device and we're currently on 575,000 rolls. Our next objective for today will be to upgrade to the next club, which is the Sub-Zero device. So let's go take a look what we're going to need for that. So if we scroll down, we've got Sub-Zero device. This will give us an extra 150% luck and a minus 30% rolling cooldown. So if we go to the actual Sub-Zero device, it says that we need crystallized. I'm going to need a lot of these. I need one more aquatic, which we actually did get these yesterday. So let's plug that in. I still need 55 Glacier, 8 Siderium, 12 Magnetic, and 36 Precious. To be honest, I actually think this is going to be really easy to get. So I'm actually about to head to bed, not at 2 a.m. for once. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hopefully when I wake up, we have a bunch of new good auras and we have everything we need for the Sub-Zero device. So let's get rolling and make sure we have the Sub-Zero device on on auto add. There we go. Okay, see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's now the next day, and now we are on 624,000 rolls. We honestly grinded last night. It looks like I did manage to pull another Nautilus, so let's take a look if we got anything else. So if we scroll down. So we ended yesterday on the Galaxy. Since then, we got another exotic. Nautilus, Nautilus, exotic, Nautilus. What? How did that happen? How did I end up with three Nautilus, two exotics overnight? That's actually crazy that I pulled nothing else, just those two auras. But the more important question is, where are we up to on our Sub-Zero device? So if we go over here, open, Sub-Zero device. Oh, it's finished. Oh, it's actually finished. Let's go. Okay, I only need to create five gear basings and then I can make the Sub-Zero device straight away. That's honestly perfect. That means all day today, we can just grind with the Sub-Zero device. So hopefully we get some insane stuff. If we go back to Jake, we can now go up to gear basing and place these on auto add. And now we just wait. That should be all of the gear basings crafted. So let's put all of them in one two three four five and there we go sub-zero device is complete so let's go craft and we finally did it guys let's go i mean to be fair this time i literally just had to afk overnight it was a lot easier than the windstorm device to get so if we're now going to inventory and go back towards gears there it is we've got the sub-zero device so we can now put that on the right hand and keep the jackpot gauntlet on the left hand since we still don't have a gravitational device and there we go hell yeah the bacon is rocking the sub-zero it's honestly my favorite glove it looks so epic. So now that we have the Sub-Zero device, I'm going to go AFK for a little bit again. And let's see if we pull anything. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, it looks like we have got something. A blue star. Wait, what's this going to be? It looks like a starlight to me. It's going to be a starlight, isn't it? Oh, it's cracking though. This could be something insane. Oh, it's bounded. Wait, yes. Okay, I'm really excited because we actually need a bounded. Nice, let's go. We got bounded. I keep getting super excited about these, but I need it for the next glove. So if we go over to Jake, we can now go ahead and plug that straight in. So if we go to gravitational device, there it is. We now have two out of three bounders. Let's go. Oh my God, no way. No way, it's got extra stars. Wait, what's this? No! Not an aquatic flame. No, 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 no. We literally left the last account because the best aura that I had on it was aquatic flame. No! <laughs> Dude, I got so excited as well. Oh, wait, another star? Wait, the Sub-Zero device is actually goated. What? I'm telling you guys, this is the best glove. I don't know why. What was that? Was that Luna? It was a Luna. No, not freaking aquatic flame though. Oh, what a shame. Well, let's get back to rolling, I guess. Oh, no way. We've got another blue star. Wait, this could be another bounded. It kind of looks like a bounded again. It is a bounded. Yes, that's epic. That's literally all that we needed left for the gravitational device. The rest of the stuff is going to be easy. Hell yeah, we've got another bounded. Oh wait, I've just come back from being AFK again quickly and I've got a defined. Let's go. Wait, but did we get a breakthrough or was it through no biome? Let's check. Because I did have a no biome in my daily quest today. Oh yeah, we've got a play no biome. Hey, that's sick. So we've got a no biome and we've got a defined from it. I actually really, really like the look of defined. It kind of looks like an anime aura. Anyway, since we do have another bounded, let's go ahead and plug that in now. So we can scroll down to gravitational and there we go. Okay, three out of three bounded. We need one more exotic, which 
which I have way too many of, so let's just plug that in. And then I just need Magnetic, Diaboli, Sidereum, Nautilus. Oh, wait, we have Nautilus as well. We've got two of those today, so let's plug those in. And Precious, of course. But where are we up to with the Galactic device? So I pretty much finished everything. Oh, I need a Galaxy? Oh, wait, guys, this is going literally perfect, because yesterday, at the end of the day, we got a Galaxy. So let's go ahead and put that in. So Galactic device and Galaxy can go in. So literally, for the Galactic device, I just need to make an Eclipse device. And since earlier in this series, I actually did create an Eclipse device, we can go to inventory and have a look here. There it is. So I actually already have one of these. Wait, am I about to get the Galactic device in the same episode? I feel like this is almost cheating. You know what? I'm going to save it for tomorrow's episode. If you guys want to see me use the Galactic device with the gravitational device on the Noob Pro account, then come back for tomorrow's episode. So since we've finished everything in Galactic device, let's move on to gravitational and start auto adding everything here. The next thing that I actually wanted to do was to go ahead and make a bunch of heavenly potions because how many celestials do I have? Okay, I have three celestials and I've already made one heavenly one potion. So we should be able to get two heavenly two potions, which means we can do max luck twice in a row. So we'll probably do that tomorrow as well. That's going to be epic. But I'm feeling a little bit lonely now. I've been in this server for like seven hours on my own today. So let's go to a public server and see what everyone else is rocking. Okay, we've loaded in and straight away, I can see a Poseidon. That's actually so sick. I'll love to say that we can flex our one in four million aquatic flame but you know it's an aquatic flame and as i say that there's an aquatic flame jumping in the background <laughs> how what just happened wait that's too funny okay i'm gonna put mine on so we can flex with him i guess oh he jumped into the lava oh it's because he's afk oh wait did you guys know that aquatic flame leaves a little strip behind you what wait no, it doesn't. Oh, it's his avatar. Wait. Wait, look at that. His avatar has little flames behind him. So it actually makes the aura look semi-decent. <laughs> oh, there's another dude with an aquatic flame. Hey, yo. Epic. I got aquatic flame today. It sucks. It literally sucks. For a one in four million, they really, really need to rework aquatic flame. It's literally the exact same as aquatic, but a different color. It's just silly. It's a silly aura. Oh, we're not even rolling. Okay, let's get rolling. And let's get some more potions on. So I've already been running a lot of potions today. I'm actually almost out of speed potions. I started the day on 800 speed potions. Let me plug in just like another 30 whilst we're in this server, which means I need 15 lucky potions. As we're rolling, I want to show you guys a couple of cool spots that you can go to now. So since they opened up this part of the map, there's a lot more what I would call lucky spots. For Noodle, his favorite lucky spot is actually all the way up there in the corner. But I found a spot which is in the altar area. So let's go over there. So obviously, if you go through the wall and go inside to the altar, oh, there's a celestial here. Now that we're in here, you can see there are these two pillars. So there's one on this side and one over here on this side. Now, this one is really easy to get to because you can just jump to it. But this one, you need to have an arcane for it. So if we go up to the top here, you can see you can't actually just jump across. So the only way to do it is to equip arcane. And now we're going to have to be super precise with this, but I think I got it. Nope. <laughs> Let me try again. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's the one. Did I land right on the edge? Oh my god, I did. My toes are literally all the way off. All right, so now that you're up here, you can just equip whatever aura you want. Let's go undefined since we got that today. And look at that for a lucky spot. How epic does that look? Especially with the undefined, actually. That looks really cool. So try this spot out for yourself, guys. Oh, and I was going to say, let me know if you get super lucky, but it looks like it's already working for me. Wait, is this going to be another bounded or is this a starlight? Dude, if this is another bounded, we're actually cooking today. Oh, it is. Okay, I don't even need any more bounded, but I'll take it. Because I've actually run out of bounded in my inventory. I had to use them all for the gravitational glove, but now we've got one back. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep this one because I want to fill out my inventory with cool auras. And bounded is really cool. It's only a 1 in 200,000, but it's a cool aura. Dude, we are cooking, though. We've had three bounded today. We've had an aquatic flame. And then I've had a bunch of things as well that I didn't record because it was just kind of like more jades. We've got permafrost breakthroughs. We've got stormal breakthroughs. So a lot of hundreds of thousands of auras today. So try that spot for yourself, guys, and let me know if it works for you too. Clearly for me, I pretty much got something straight away. So lucky spot confirmed. Let's make our way back towards Stella because... I actually want to create the heavenly potions. We'll be using those in tomorrow's video, but I just want to get ahead on them so we don't have to do them all in one day. Okay, we've made it to Stella and let's start crafting the heavenly. So where are we up to with these? The heavenly two, I need a bunch of divinus and I need another heavenly one potion. So let's get working on the heavenly one. So let's put the celestial in and I need a divinus. 
or a Divinus. And then we need 100 Lucky Potions in there as well, so let's plug that in. Okay, let's just wait until this is done. Okay, there we go. So the Heavenly 1 Potion is crafted. Now we can go to our Heavenly 2, plug that in, and let's get working on the Divinus for this one as well. And there we go. Isn't Auto Add beautiful? It just does everything so quick. Okay, let's craft. And boom, would you look at that? A Heavenly 2 Potion. I'm really hoping we pull something epic with that tomorrow. So I guess I'll start working on the next one now. Whilst the Heavenly is cooking inside, let's see if anyone's chilling out here. Wait, we have more aquatics? What? We have to join in on this. What is happening right now? <laughs> That's actually making me feel a lot better for pulling an aquatic today. At least we've got a little squad of us. Oh, cool. This guy's rocking the Sub-Zero as well. I honestly believe that the Sub-Zero might be the best glove. Like, I don't know why, but every time I have it on, I pull the best stuff with it compared to the Galactic Glove. I know it's an RNG game, so obviously it's just a coincidence. At least probably it is. But still, it just feels like I always pull way more of the Sub-Zero. Wait, what's this? This isn't another bounded, is it? Oh, it's a Nautilus. <laughs> okay, I don't need any more Nautilus, but it just shows that we are still pulling a lot of auras in. I'm telling you guys, Sub-Zero is goated. I genuinely believe there's a bug with Sub-Zero at the moment because I pull way more with this glove than I do with the Galactic Glove. I'm going to need one of the admins to check whether the code is messed up because the Sub-Zero device is just insane right now. No way, have we got another star again? Wait, what's this one going to be? This kind of looks like it might be another Lunar, maybe? Wait, it's cracking though. This is good. Wait, what did I get? It didn't equip. Oh, no way. We've got a lunar full moon. That's literally a 1 in 500,000. Guys, I am telling you, this glove is insane. It must be bugged right now. Or I'm just having crazy luck. But please equip this glove if you're getting bad luck right now. I promise you it will help. Well, I feel like that is an absolute perfect place to end today's video. We honestly cooked today. So we obviously created the Sub-Zero device. We pulled an aquatic flame. We got a defined. And of course, we just got a lunar full moon. On top of that, we did create a heavenly potion and we're working on our next heavenly potion. Come back tomorrow to see me create the galactic and the gravitational gloves and we can finally compare whether they are actually better than the Sub-Zero. But I swear the Sub-Zero is broken right now. It gives you extra luck. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you tomorrow for the next one.